Jim Wood is on the ballot again, Waynesboro. Vote accordingly. Chris Graham, Augusta Free Press. The name Jim Wood appears on the party certification documents for the three Republican Party nominees for Waynesboro City Council this year. And yes, in case you were wondering, we're talking about that Jim Wood, the city's vice mayor who got himself and the city in the national news headlines last year in the fallout over his use of a homophobic slur to denigrate Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Augusta Free Press obtained the documents for Dave Getz, the uh, Republican nominee in Ward A, Will Flory, the Republican nominee in Ward B, and Jeremy Sloat, the Republican nominee for the at-large seat through a public records, records request. Wood provided his signature to the ballot documents for each of the three candidates in his role as the chairman of the Waynesboro Republican Committee. Wood, the city's vice mayor, called Buttigieg old Pete Buttplug on a 2023 Facebook podcast in the context of addressing the federal response to a train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. That talk show slur came two days after Wood's name appeared with others from Waynesboro City Council on a letter formally signed by the mayor, Lana Williams, addressed to Buttigieg, asking the transportation secretary to give his backing for a federal grant for a project to connect Waynesboro to the Claudius Crozet Blue Ridge Tunnel. In the wake of the controversy, uh, the Ward C City Councilman, uh, Kenny Lee, formally called on Wood, who had been a member of City Council, likely actually, for just six weeks at that time, to resign the vice mayor post. And the City Council's at-large member, Terry Short, did that one better, publicly asking Wood to resign his seat on City Council entirely. Wood survived the firestorm after issuing a half-hearted apology that referenced, quote, constant political attacks and threats on me by certain groups that have been nonstop since the election. But notably, he ended his podcast and deleted years of archives. Among the archives that Wood tried to run away from was a live video from January 6, 2021, in which Wood offered his thoughts on the attack on the U.S. Capitol by supporters of Donald Trump, telling his viewers, quote, I'm on the side of the patriots who marched on the Capitol today. I wish I could have been there today. Another of Wood's now deleted podcasts was one from November 2nd, 2022 in which Wood tried to cast a politically motivated hammer attack on Paul Pelosi, the husband of then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, as a lover spat gone wrong. Quote, the best dad joke I've heard in a while has been floating around today, said right before that incident, you know, Nancy Pelosi, she texted Paul to say, I hope you're not drinking and driving, and the reply was, no, I'm just staying at home getting hammered. That was Wood on that now-deleted podcast. It's fair to wonder out loud if Wood signing off on the three candidates for city council as the Republican Party chair is trying to recast the city council with like minds. For example, we have Getz, the Ward A candidate, who is the vice president of research at the North Carolina-based Electoral Education Foundation. And yes, you can tell from the party affiliation and the group's name what the focus is there. This Electoral Ele Education Foundation outfit was founded by a guy named Hal Weatherman the Republican nominee for lieutenant governor in North Carolina. This year, running on, on the ballot this year, his campaign website list among his priorities, quote, men out of women's sports, Donald J. Trump, deporting illegals and armed guards in schools. Weatherman is running on the North Carolina GOP state ticket alongside Mark Robinson, the Republican nominee for governor down there in the Tar Heel state, a Holocaust denier who, among other things, thinks femini feminism is, quote, watered by the devil, and is harvested and sold by his minions, that the civil rights movement was a, quote, communist plot, and that the survivors of the 2018 mass shooting at a Florida high school are, quote, spoiled little bastards and media prostitutes. People who travel in those circles and traffic in that kind of nonsense would seem to fit in well with a guy in Jim Wood who wished he had been at the Capitol for the insurrection, made light of a hammer attack on an elderly man by a guy who broke into a home thinking he was going to kill the Democratic House Speaker. And then, well, whatever it was that Jim Wood was calling Pete Buttigieg old Pete Buttplug for and what that was supposed to represent, aside from Jim Wood just being a dick. So the news here again, Waynesboro, Jim Wood is on the ballot. Vote accordingly. For Augusta Free Press, I'm Chris Graham.